Hello and welcome to another episode of The Collection. Today we have something special for you. My good friends at Funko have sent me a little package of goodies and we're going to take a look at them right now and they have something to do with these clowns behind me. That's right, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. It happens to be one of my favorite films and I'm so stoked that they sent me this package. And we're going to start with this bad boy right here. Check it out. It's chubby. A little fun story about this character right here. Good friend of mine, Paul Haley, played the character of Chubby in the movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space. He said that on set, originally, this character was named Bubbles. But if you look in the credits, they didn't actually give names to each of the clowns in the credits. Over the years, this character was kind of referred to as Fatso. But there's another clown with the exact same head, just painted differently, that today is known as Fatso, and this one is known as Chubby. In particular, he told me about this scene where he's holding the pie and pointing. He said that he kept doing weird moves with his hands, something that he felt like the character needed to do. It's good to know clowns had motivation. Let's take a closer look at this guy. I'm always nervous to open these. I kind of suggest going from the bottom sometimes. All the Funko collectors are going, I saw it, Crease, what are you doing? Ah, see, for some reason, it seems to open easier from the bottom. Oh, buddy. Hoo -hoo -hoo. There we go, take a look at that sucker. I actually saw this movie when it opened in 1988. It was only playing in a couple theaters in Southern California. I believe it was at the Brea Mall. It was a first date. She was the head cheerleader in my high school. And let's just say it was our last date. Killer Clowns didn't seal the deal. But you know what? I love the movie. I don't care if she didn't like it. Maybe she did like it. Maybe she just didn't like me. I don't know. I've got issues. This is something I need to work through. Should I mention the head cheerleader thing? <laughs> you decide later. <laughs> All right. But I love the movie, and I love that people have gotten behind this movie, and it's gotten this incredible cult following. I've just seen it grow, and there's so much merchandise, and Funko just keeps killing it. Killing it literally. I guess literally is not the proper term. I'm literally using the term literally wrong. Funko has really helped bring it to life. Here is another one. This is Frank. You see him at the end of the movie when they're all surrounding them in the big top just before Clownzilla comes in. He's one of the ones with the bat swinging the bat at him. And as you can tell, he's got his little bat and everything. He's ready to swing away. We also need the rest of the clowns holding the pies so you can set all of them up. Even a Funko of the security guard. Let's go crazy. Let's go nuts. I think I quoted a song. Hope that's not a copyright issue. We desperately need a Mike Tobacco, a, what's her name? What's Susan? She is uh, Mike Tobacco and how am I forgetting it? Hold on. I know. I want to remember it. The head turn. Oh, look at that. The head turns and everything. Look at that. That is cool. Mike and it just popped in my head. Debbie. You're right. It is Debbie. It I, is Debbie. I wanted to get it on my own. <laughs> What we really need is a Mike Tobacco, Debbie, Officer Dave, Officer Mooney, the Terenzi brothers. We need Funkos of all these characters. Come on, let's make it happen. So we got the Chubby, we got the Frank. They sent me two killer clowns, but guess what? They sent me a third, and this one is jumbo sized. Look at that. That's right, it's jumbo. Now you might remember this clown as the one that was sitting outside of the Big Top Burger. He's riding the little mechanical thing or whatever, trying to get the attention of the little girl inside the restaurant. So as you can see behind me, I have a couple of the screen used heads and a set of the hands. I'm clearly a big nerd for Killer Clowns from Outer Space. So I appreciate these a great deal. Funko immortalizing these characters. We're gonna have to take it out and get a good look at it from the bottom. Oh boy, my opening techniques. Funko people, do you have a special tool you use to open these so you don't crease it? Look at that, oh, so close. Hey, you know what? This one came out pretty easily. There we go. Oh wow, a little background. Look at that. This is rad. I'm really stoked that they're making these characters like this with the little accessories and everything. This is cool. Got to keep them in scale though. Got to keep them to scale. What we need, a Clownzilla that is a jumbo one. You know, the big jumbo ones you guys do? We need one of those to go with these. I know you put a Clownzilla out, but we got to have a big one. That's a must. I want to say a big thank you to Funko for sending me these. It was fun getting to show these to the people as well as get to keep them for the collection. 
And if you want to get your own, you need to run to Funko.com or go check out any of your retailers that carry Funko products and order these today because when they're gone, they're gone. Dun, 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 dun. What we really need is a. Mm, I don't know what I'm going to do. Its office is it Dave or Dan? I want to say Dave, but I'm not sure. I think it's Dave. Yeah. And Officer Dan, I say Dave or Dan? It's Dave. Dave, damn it. What we really need is a Mike Tobacco, a Debbie, an Officer Dave. Is it Dan? Dave. It's Dave. You got it right. It Dave, <laughs> Dave, Dave's not here. Dave. Now you were right. Now when Killer Clowns from Outer Space came out, it was only playing on like three of them. <laughs> when Killer, don't make me laugh now. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> All right.